Oh shit. Oh day, pray them niggas go away. Oh, we sell the clowns around it, look like circus show. This is not the album either. These are just Hey yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Game for Days. And I'm back at it again with another Fallout 4 build after like 200 years without one. Remember, there's timestamps in the description if you want to skip a section and you need to come back and find a section. This whole next week, I'll be on the road with my dad. He's a truck driver, so you can expect a gaming video and a vlog to be coming out every single day. But for now, the build. The demon didn't always have no soul and hateful intent. No. He had a childhood of horror because he had an abusive father. His father never saw him as good enough, and his mother didn't care about anything except for her next fix. So his father beat him, and beat him, and beat him every single day for his whole upbringing. And at the age of 15, the demon lost the faith because he thought no real god could ever let such bad things happen to a devoted follower. And the demon hated his father, so he wanted to leave home as soon as possible to get away from him. So at the age of 18, he was conscripted into the military and sent to work. He became one of the top soldiers in his squadron and never faltered, always thinking of his enemies as his father to ensure he wouldn't ever miss. One day the demon faced a battle he knew he wouldn't come home from, so he tried something extreme for him. He prayed. Not to God exclusively, but to anybody listening. After the prayer, a demon arose from the ground and made a bargain with him that he'd get to go home, make some friends, and settle down and have a nice life. The price was his soul. He agreed, not seeing any consequence, and was sent home with honors. After six months of being home, he spotted a certain broad in a pub and remembered her from the newspaper. Nora, the top lawyer in Boston. He went up and spoke with her, and after about three hours and several drinks, they decided to take it home. They dated for eight months and then married. Two years later, they had Sean, and on October 27, 2077, the bombs dropped, and they were rushed into the vault. That's the backstory. Now let's look at the perks. The perks the demon needs to rain down hellfire upon his foes are pickpocket, toughness, vans, fortune finder, armorer, life giver, gun nut, hacker, blacksmith, locksmith, demo expert, aqua boy, local leader, and science. Pickpocket is maxed to re pickpocket is maxed to represent his ability and blessing in air quotes from Satan to sneak around and take whatever he wants. When it's maxed, you get twice as easy pickpocketing and the ability to steal equipped items and place mines and grenades to explode in your victim's pockets. Toughness is maxed and represents his time from the beatings and the time in the military. With this maxed, you gain plus 50 damage resistance. You can interchange vans for a different perk, I just took it because I like it. And I thought it would fit the build well because he could see where Satan's leading him to his next goal. But with Vans Max, you gain plus two perception. With one of the DLCs, of course. I can't remember which one. And the ability to see your next quest target in Vats. Fortune Finder is maxed to give you more of the greedy edge of a demon. And with this perk maxed, you gain even more bottle caps and containers, and a chance of a shower of caps when you kill your enemies. Next is Armor, which is taken to gain access to plus to rank four armor mods. Freaking A, can't speak. Life Giver is taken to represent Satan's hand guiding the demon and keeping him well. With this perk maxed, you gain plus 60 maximum health, and you slowly regenerate health. Next is the Gun Nut to gain access to rank 4 gun mods. Blacksmith is maxed for rank 4, rank 3, rank 3 melee mods. Locksmith is maxed so the demon is never kept from where he wants to go. With this perk maxed, you, get, you can pick all locks and your bobby pins never break. Hacker is taking so the rules of the advanced wasteland don't keep him from the awesome loot behind that terminal. With this max, you can hack all terminals and never get locked out when you answer wrong. Demo expert is taken for when you rain down hellfire on your foes with molotovs. With this max, your explosives do double damage, mimes and grenades shot and bats explode for double damage, and grenades gain a throwing arc. Next is Aqua Boy. This is max so you no longer take rad damage from swimming and you can breathe underwater and become totally undetectable while submerged. Night Person is next. With this max, you gain plus 30 health and plus 3 perception between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. Next is Local Leader, and with this max, you gain the ability to establish supply lines between your little slices of hell. 
and you can craft workshops and more good stones. And finally is science, and with this map you gain access to plus... Freaking A, you gain access to rank 4 high tech mods for everything. Now, the faction choices. The demon goes... No! Freaking... Up there. The demon doesn't trust any faction too keenly, but he doesn't favor the idea of lurking in the shadows like the Institute of the Railroad, and he doesn't want to help people like the Minutemen. He sees the only viable option is to join the Brotherhood. He'll join the Raider gangs from Nuka World to take over the Commonwealth and to rain down even more havoc on them, and he'll destroy the children of Adam in Far Harbor, and he'll kill the Mechanist. Gameplay and weapon choices. The demon goes around, goes prancing around the wasteland with this arctic hellhound if you have the creation club mod, it's not required. But the hellhound is required, if you don't I'll send satan after you. He goes around with this arctic hellhound in search of any trouble he can find. He never backs down unless he's about to die, and he doesn't trust anyone. And he consumes a butt load of jet. Ugh. The weapons that he uses are an experimental MIRV, Grognax Axe, an incendiary advanced 10mm pistol, an incendiary advanced combat shotgun, an incendiary advanced lever action rifle, an incendiary powerful automatic radium rifle, Molotovs, the Nuka Nuke launcher, and a targeting quad barrel missile launcher, all so he can rain down hellfire on the foes of the Commonwealth! The armor he uses is a Brotherhood of Steel officer uniform, an improved set of Disciple spiked armor, and a Disciple's metal chest piece, and a crow mask from the pack. Sorry, the video showed Jaguar helmet. I changed it at the last minute and couldn't be bothered to fix it. Well, that's been the build. 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 It's been the build. I'm German now. That's fun. This has been the build. Build. And this idea was submitted to me and given by Mara McQueen. Y'all go check her out. She is a freaking beast when it comes to speed paints. Check out the little eye card right here and at the end screen. This is Games for Days. This has been The Demon. And like it, sub it, share it, comment it. Peace!